Residents will have to wait a little bit longer to get a court decision about the LEAX rates, but come December 8th, there are two issues that both sides will have to argue. It started with presiding Judge Harold Willock's frustration with the Public Services Commission's attorneys for failing to turn in certified transcripts. I personally was happy of the judge's observation because that's a frustration that I as a senator has had with the Public Service Commission and the public in general because if they give in the court such a hard time, then you can imagine the general population. But it really came down to what issues would be addressed since attorneys for the PSC and WAPA said the issues raised by Hanson petition were different from those raised in court. The parties have expressed their concerns about the um, content of the petition. The judge still has that under advisement and he's going to send out a ruling shortly in order indicating precisely what those issues are. Those issues, whether or not WAPA is charging reasonable rates, that WAPA violated the law by not holding a public hearing after the LEAC was created and that the PSC didn't have enough information to increase the LEAC, Judge Willocks threw out the issue of reasonableness since it wasn't raised in the petition. The way in which the petition was written, it is clear that the reason why we are challenging the above market prices is because we are saying that it's unreasonable to charge the people that price where the third extension agreement requires it to be below market price. Hansen had filed a motion to have the PSC present their reasons for denying her petition to stop LEAC rate hikes, but the judge said they didn't have to. Nevertheless, Hansen said she's confident about her case and she had supporters behind her. What I'm very happy about is that we are ready, getting ready to proceed on December the 8th at 1.30. And at that time, that's when the trial will really begin. Erica Parsons, News 2.